Hello. Let's apply the general method to draw regular polygons inscribed in circumferences or circles. The first step we must do is to draw a vertical diameter. This vertical diameter will intersect our circumference at two points A and P as shown. Now, with your compass centered on point A, as shown, scribe an arc to the right. Now, repeat this process, but this time use point P to center your compass and scribe an arc to the left, which intersects the previous arc as shown in the video. Where these arcs intersect, we will call this point Q. Our next step is to divide the diameter we drew previously into as many parts as we want our polygon to have sides. For example, in this case we want to draw a decagon, or a ten-sided polygon. So we have to divide the diameter into ten equal parts. So to divide the diameter into ten equal parts we will use Tails Theorem. First, we draw a line starting at point A with any angle to the vertical diameter as shown. After that, we will choose any given measurement, for example, 2 cm. And set your compass to 2 cm and now scribe 10 equal lines as shown. You can also do this using a ruler. Just remember that accuracy here is very important in this part of the exercise. As you can see, point eight. I will scribe point nine and our last point point ten. When I have my tenth division marked as shown, we then join this mark to point P on our vertical diameter. From now on, we will draw parallel segments to the previous junctions as shown. We can use our 45 and our 90 degree set squares to help us with this task. As you won't have this software used to record these videos to help you draw perfect parallel lines. We continue drawing our parallel segments. And as can be seen here, when you're drawing your fifth parallel, it should go exactly through the center point zero. This means that you're doing everything correctly and accurately. And it should always happen when you divide the diameter into an even number of sides. Now continue with point four, and point three and next point two which is very important point two we will draw this line thicker to show its importance because regardless of the number of sides of the polygon we are looking to draw the line marked number two and the diameter will always be the key point and we will mark it number two. The next step is to draw a line from point Q to point 2 and continue to point B on the circle as shown.
Okay, so we have an arc AB, and this is the measurement of one side of the decagon we are looking for. So now this arc AB should fit exactly 10 times into the circumference of the circle, if we have drawn everything precisely up to this point. So now using your compass, as shown, proceed to mark 10 arcs of length AB on the circumference. At this point, I just want to remind you that this is the general method to draw a polygon with an any number of sides. The only condition is that they are inscribed in a previously drawn circumference. The only difference between exercises will be the division of the diameter, according to the number of sides we want our polygon to be. But whatever the number of parts, the key division on the diameter will always be Point number two. So as you can see, we continue describing our arcs AB onto our circumference. As shown in the video, we will label each point A, B, C, D, E, F until point I. This means everything is correct and we're working with accuracy. Each point will be a vertex of the decagon. The distance from the last point to point A should be the same as shown if everything is drawn correctly. So finally, now we join the vertices as shown, A to B, B to C, C to D, E to P, and we continue, F to P, F to G, G to H, H to I, and finally closing the polygon by joining vertices I to A. until we have the perfect decagon in which we were looking for. I hope this helps you. Thank you very much.